All right, so here we're going to start looking at Surprise One provided by Fat Sauce. We're going to spawn an adult and a baby next to a fully embignated prog. They are predators, little carnivore puppies. They look like flies. So let's take a look at this diet one full carnivore. This is definitely an evolved bibbit because we don't have any sharp numbers except for pheromone sense, which is capped out. I believe 500 is the max. Let's look at the brain. We have a fairly simple brain for a predator. There's 13 nodes with 38 synapses, which means it has definitely been cleaned up. Not necessarily by fat sauce, but it's, 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 it's well evolved. Uh, it's tiny with a size factor of 2.9. We're gonna watch the baby first. Whew, look at that thing go. Not the baby, the baby's just kind of sitting here. Uh, so they have a speed ratio of 0.3. This one is set to full turbo. And it doesn't seem to do much in the great void. So let's go to one of the other ones. Surprise one. It has found the meat. It is consuming the meat. And it is growing not necessarily rapidly. 0.4 energy per second is not huge growth. Egg size is 14.6, so it's going to lay early and it's going to lay often. We have a single red modifier in egg want to lay with a strength of negative 1.32 from meat angle, which is an interesting choice. Because if a meat is to the left of it, it's going to, this is going to be a negative number, right? And it's going to turn this into a positive, which means that meat on the left makes it want to lay and meat on the right makes it not want to lay. It's doing all right. Uh, this was a spawner. It is almost three minutes in to its life cycle. It has laid several eggs, so you know it has it has potential. Um, where are we at? Surprise one fat sauce. It is, however, not reproducing fast enough to uh, overcome its death rate. We're still spawning them in. Uh, the DC scavenger. Let's put this carrot in front of it and see if it's just a scavenger or if it will in fact hunt the food. Yes, it wants to hunt the food. Here, have the carrot. I give you this gift. Do do do. Max out the energy. Lay an egg. So if it if it gets a hold of a carrot, it's it's gonna lay eggs. It's gonna make so many babies. Um, digestion doesn't seem super efficient on this guy. Let's see what we have here. This is want to grow. We're not interested in that. We're interested in digestion. We have really just a green and a complicated green input. Uh, let's see. The multiplier is fed by this linear which is fed by this linear, which is fed by this relu, which is fed by digestion. So that's a fairly complicated chain. And it died, so I have to find another one. This guy. Uh, digestion is now not this guy. Oh, I lost track of it. There's too many things in here. Surprise, fat sauce. Surprise, fat sauce. So that was the one. And then we have an absolute, which gets fed into a negative. So the more energy it has, the less it wants to, wants to digest. Just period. No, hold on. That's not entirely true. That is an absolute. So... I would, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't have a lot of faith in its uh, digestion chain. And, man, these things are getting eaten up. So it, the only rotation modifiers are a negative to plant, so it wants to avoid the plants. 
and a positive to meat. It wants to attach itself to the meat more than it wants to avoid plants, which is fine. Um, wow, these things just get devoured. I, I think that they could potentially have like a population explosion in really, really good, uh, in, in like a, a whale fall situation, but they're not doing it here. Uh, they could potentially become a localized predator, like, you know, stay within this one zone. Uh, but I don't, I don't think they have any kind of migrant capability. And this is just, this is just an assumption on my part, right? In order to have a migrant, unless you have a parasite that is, has a migrant host, you're going to get stuck here. And you really do need to be, well, I, I don't know. It's, it's possible it could work. It doesn't work right now. Oh, we have 17. We have a population. We do have a small population explosion. Let's see if it can... Uh, oh, sustain itself. So generation three, and this came from a template. So we are three generations in, and it's all trying to eat this one piece of meat, which means we're going to end up probably with just one big one. And I want to watch what the big one does. Surprise, fat sauce. Uh, if it's to chew, to chew, chew. We're up to 23. Up to 24. Let's see if it does. Oh, it does not have a rotation. A bibbit rotation. So these things don't hunt. Not really. We have herding fed by a s just a blank sigmoid. So interesting, an inter interesting option here. This sigmoid just doesn't have a feeder, so it just turns herding into a 0.45. It's always trying to herd just a little bit. And it's dead. How are we looking? Fat sauce is down to 16. 15. It's going to be 14, I guess. So yeah, yeah, it, it, it can have population explosions. And any time that you have a population explosion, you have chances for good mutations, and it could potentially stick. I think that f the meat food is just too few and far between for this particular scavenger. And there's enough things in this in this soup that already want to eat meat. I don't think I don't think another scavenger is gonna especially a small scavenger i don't think a small scavenger is gonna make it but it has had it ha, it is not spawning in currently so there is potential for this thing i'll keep an eye on it kind of in the long term all right that's good enough for now let's go look at surprise two